All right, Shalawami Yashirala, back again with another load with an edifying video through the spirit and the power of Yahweh by Hashem Yashai. Before I begin this lesson, <clears throat> I want to give all honor, glory, praises to the Heavenly Father, to His only begotten Son, Yahweh by Hashem Yashai, by Hashem Rakakwadash. Next up, double honors to the apostles and to the elders of Great Millstone, who still go out there to the highways and the byways and preach the truth according to the Bible and rule well. And peace and blessings and safety into your mercies out there. I mean, please, peace, blessings and safety and mercy to your items out there. Put the truth in the four corners of the earth with boldness, righteousness, and in sincerity. Come up a little bit. And, um, uh, through the spirit of your high by Shimei Shai, man, I just want to go, uh, do another lesson through the spirit. Uh, I'm going to go into certain laws. Uh, what the Lord said to keep to the best of your ability. And um, the follow today. So I'm at first. I'm gonna get who the laws was given to. Then I'm gonna go to a few laws. So this is the book of Leviticus, chapter twenty-six, verse forty-six. These are the statutes and judgments and laws which the Lord made between Him and the children of Israel and Mount Sinai by the hand of Moses. See, these are the laws, statutes, and commandments that Yahweh Shemuel Shai gave unto us, the children of Israel, which consists of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans of the confusion of faces uh, by the hand of Moses and Mount Sinai, man. You know? So, uh, you know, I'm talking to the Israelites right now, man. You know, because oh, this is your laws, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, who are the biblical Hebrew Israelites today, contrary to popular belief. So this is who I'm talking to. So this is, as a matter of fact, hold on, let me see if I can get a definition to the spirit. Uh, Um, this is, uh, con, con, con. This is the, uh, that one of the definitions of, uh, made is enter into a contract of, um, a marriage. Right. See, how about Shemar Shah made a contract with the children of Israel through the hands of Mount, si uh, the, through the hands of Moses and Mount Sinai, man. That was a contract. The, uh, the covenant, so to speak, man. That was the contract right there. It's getting hot. The sun is right in my face. So let's get into a few laws through the spirit of your heart by Shemar Shiloh when this video be edifying. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 11, verse 7. And the swine, though he divided the hoof and be cloven footed, yea, he cleat you of not the could, he is unclean to you. Let's look at what a swine is. Which people should already know what a swine is. The definition of a swine, a pig. So let's let's get uh, some images of a pig. Then we're gonna get the definition of unclean. See? Oh, shit. Can you see that? Oh, turn my over. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. That's unclean to you. You're not supposed to eat it. Of course, the animal itself is not unclean, but it's unclean for you to eat. Because this animal has a purpose on the earth. Every animal that Yahweh Shah told us not to eat has a specific purpose on the earth to not be eaten. So, that's why I send the Levitical... This, this is the dietary law, Salaki. Which is the Levitical law, but this is the dietary law. So, um, we're going to get the definition of unclean. Cause you know we're gonna we, we like to go through words up here, man. Through the spirit of Yahweh by Shimon and Shai. Look, okay, look, look. Unclean, adjective, dirty. So you're gonna eat, so if if Yahweh by Shimon and Shai told you not to eat swine, and you eating you you eating something that's dirty. Synonyms: filthy, look foul, impure. You're eating this if you eat swine, you're impure. You're impure, unhealthy. See, see that? In look, 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 look. infected. You eating something that's infected, man? That affects your body. Look, 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 look. Polluted. 
unwashed, contaminated. You know what I mean? Because when you when you when you um, which I got to go into this morning spirit. When you see a pig, it eats this slop, man. Which is a just a bunch of uh, just a bunch of. Uh, Man, I don't even know what slop is to be honest with you, but I know it's unclean, man. That's it's that's dirty. But pig has a purpose on the earth, man, which is to clean up the earth, man, of uh, like uh, the filthiness and whatnot. Just like a um a vulture, a vulture like the feeds on stuff that's dead. It eats stuff that's been dead. That's how they get their meal. Now, if, if humans might think that's nasty, but they really, if you really think about it through the spirit, it's not nasty, man, because that's what it's but it was created to eat. Just like a pig, a pig will eat anything, okay? A, a, a pig will eat anything. So you're going to eat something that's uh, polluted because whatever you eat, when you eat the pig, you're eating the, you eating the materials. Oh, it's like a, when you're eating the pig, first of all, first and foremost, y'all, by which I told you not to eat it, or if you want to go on the physical aspect, it's the dirtiest meat that you can ever, it's the most contaminated meat ever, man. It's unhealthy. Everybody knows that swine pork is unhealthy for you. It's infected, unsanitary, un unhygienic, I think, H hygienic, yep. Yeah. You know, soil, you know what I mean? Tainted, you know what I mean? So why would you want to eat something that's unwashed, unhealthy, disease-ridden? Let's look on disease-ridden. Look, 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 the disease-ridden, full of... Or causing disease. Because most of these diseases come from eating that swine, man, when it comes to the Israelites, man. You know, disease written. See? That's a bad definition right there. Disease ridden. ridden. I think it's ridden. Or riding. It might be riding. Because the E makes the, you know, the middle word come out more. But, but through the spirit, you know, yeah, man. You know, causing disease, man. So you want to eat something that'll cause you a disease, man? Uh, claws up your arteries. Uh, what else it does, man? It claws up your arteries. Uh, it gives you tapeworms. More tapeworms. It gives you more parasites. It, it, it breaks your immune system. Ugh, slack it. Damn. It, uh, it attacks your immune system. It breaks your bones down. Man. It gives you heart attacks. Because it clogs up your organs, man. That's why your high body she must have told us not to eat the, the, the swine, man. You know, y'all by Shemesh, I told us not to do that. So, um, so we're going to go from jump from that to, uh, this is the book of Leviticus chapter 11, verse nine. These shall ye eat of all that are in the waters. Whatsoever have fins and scales in the waters, in the seas and in the rivers, them ye shall eat such so like bass, crappy. Brims, aka bluegills. You can eat uh tilapia, flounder, salmon. Um, you can eat a lot of stuff. Uh, I think you can eat carps. I believe. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind, kind. You can eat all. You can eat any fish that has skins and stuff, scales and fins, man. So let's go. Let's go into what. Let's go into the tenth first. And all that have not. Fins and scales in the seas and in the rivers and all that move in the waters or any living thing which are in the waters, they shall be an abomination unto you. So basically, Yahweh is saying, man, in the dietary law, that if, if you see any fish or anything that moves in the waters that don't have fins and don't have scales, you're not, they are an abomination to you and basically they're unclean to you, man. You know, stay the hell away from it. You know, excuse my French, but stay away from it, man. Like sharks, dolphins, alligators, eels. Um, what else, man? What else people be eating? Catfish. Catfish, yeah, catfish. Um, you know what I mean? Shrimp, uh, shrimp, uh, crab, lobster. They don't have fins and scales, man. Oysters, clams, snails. Come on, man. They don't have fins and scales, so you need you don't need to be eating that. You know? Yahabai Shima Shah commanded us not to eat the swine, which is the pork, which our people love. And people not and our people not supposed to eat anything that doesn't have fins and scales in the waters, in the oceans, or in the rivers, man. You know, anything that lives in the waters, if you don't have fins and scales, you're not supposed to eat it. You know?
There's plenty of fishes that you can eat. There's plenty of fishes that you can't eat, man. And there's a reason behind that. You know, because they're unhealthy for you. That's why the scripture says they're an abomination to you. You know? So, um, yeah. Come on. Uh, yeah, con, 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 um, as a matter of fact, I can go for 11 and 2, this is the book of Leviticus, chapter 11, verse 2, speak unto the children of Israel, he's talking about the children of Israel, saying, these are the beasts which ye shall eat among all the beasts that are upon the earth, uh, whatsoever part of the cuff and is cloven footed and chew of the cud among the beasts ye shall eat. Like cows, I think it's going to like cows and um, like cows, um, ox and stuff like that. You know, um, what else, man? Uh, what else people like to eat? Deers and, you know what I mean? You, you know, I got to look more into it. But yeah, there's pretty much those, man. You know, the spirit power of your high body, shout out to Lil when this video was edifying for your eye keep out there that's watching. I want to give all, oh, and lamb, and lambs, goats, it's like it. But I want to give all honor, glory, praise to the Heavenly Father, to His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahushai, Bahashim, Rekakwadash. Next up, the honor to the apostles, and to the elders of Great Millstone. We'll still go out there to the highways and byways and preach us the truth according to the Bible. And peace, blessings, and safety, and mercy to your Akims out there, pushing the truth and the folk on the earth with boldness, righteousness, and the sincerity. With that, Shalom.